Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel, Wisconsin Hugs. My name is Tony Grillo. Just going to do a quick Facebook post here talking about, uh, well, Trump. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. So New York uh, DA Alvin Bragg is facing heat for his indictment of Trump from both sides of the political fence. Libs are angry because the president wasn't uh, mugshotted. Actually, I think he was mugshotted, but we didn't get to see the pictures and fingerprinted, but we didn't get to see those shots. Uh, and uh, brought into court wearing handcuffs and an orange jumpsuit. Well, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> They're also mad that he won't be locked up behind bars anytime soon. And those of us on my side just want to know, what is the charge? One disappointed lib lawyer called the charges a pebble. You know, like you're throwing a pebble instead of throwing a stone. And another asked, where's the beef? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, these liberal um, people are like, they're like, they want this smoking gun. You know, they, they think he's guilty and he's a criminal and, you know, and they want this smoking gun evidence. And... Instead, we get what we got here with the DA not even listing one specific charge. Um, it, yeah. Um, conservative lawyers are saying the dates of 15 of the charges occur outside the five-year statute of limitations. Uh, uh, and they also argue that state election laws don't apply. To presidential races. I guess that is true. The New York judge is being blasted. But see, we don't know what the charges are. So we don't know if uh, if he's charging them on state election violations or not. We don't. Th it's probably that's probably not what's going on. You know, we, we, we kind of think we know what it is. The New York judge is being blasted for saying he or she wants a speedy trial and then setting the date all the way into December, which hits right before the start of the Republican primaries. Yeah, that what you said and what you did are two opposite uh, ends of the, the spectrum, right? Bragg was asked why he waited so long. He claimed new evidence came to light, but those on my side think... It's all about timing. Yeah, it, it is. It just seems like it's all about timing. You know, the case was weak and Bragg waited till the president was getting ready to run again to finally make the indictment. If the president decided to retire, you know, if he decided, you know, I've had enough of this BS. I, I, I just, you know, I don't need it. This is, I don't need this grief. I don't need this headache. Uh, do you honestly think there would be any charges right now? No. No, there would. I, I honestly believe that. I, I honestly think if 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 President Trump just decided to retire from politics and just run his hotels and run his businesses and probably start up his TV show all over again, um, you know, uh, and he'd make a heck of a lot more money on his TV show than than he would. Uh, he I guess he does. I guess that's true. He makes more money on a TV shows than he actually does on his other businesses. Uh, his golfing. Uh, his golf courses actually are his second highest uh, income. Uh, and we can only assume that Bragg will argue that President Trump intended to mislead the tax authorities in New York with the falsification of some of the business records. Yeah, this is what we think um, this is what we think is is what Bragg is is uh, going after him for. And that would have been the hush money payments he made to Stormy, which isn't a crime in itself. Nope, that's not a crime. Blackmail is a crime, okay? If you blackmail somebody, you know, saying, I'm going to spill your secrets if you, unless you pay me, that is a crime. But if somebody says, hey, you know what, I'd like you to keep quiet about this. I'll give you some money if you agree to do it. You know, that's not a crime. Uh, but... Apparently, the intention to falsify the hush payments on his business records to state officials, tax officials, is a crime. And that's what, that's what we're all assuming is going on here. Now, we can argue all day whether there is enough you know, evidence to indict a former, or whether there is enough 
to indict a former president, enough evidence. I've heard some lawyers say they're, these are misdemeanor charges and that they actually are bootlegging some other laws onto this to make it a felony offense. That's I'm hearing that too. I'm hearing that the the the, the law that that under these laws, these tax laws, falsification laws, those are just misdemeanor charges. But he's adding some other stuff to the misdemeanor to make it a felony. Uh, but apparently, much to my dismay. This is a by-the-books move the DA is allowed to do. The challenge for DA is to prove intention. Now, that's going to be the hard part. And he will need to do so by calling a witness, apparently a guy that used to work for Trump, uh, that has been already been convicted of perjury, and he will also be asking the CEO of the National Enquirer to testify as well. Now, that will be interesting, you know, uh, on whether uh, the CEO of the National Enquirer was... Uh, I don't know if he was offered hush money to not print a story about Trump and um, Stormy. I don't know. There was a joke on Fox News where they were saying, yeah, you know, I will always read the National Enquirer before I decide who to vote for. <laughs> but <coughs> that would be interesting to see. And maybe that's one of the, uh, you know, there was 34 indictments. Uh, 32 of them, I believe, were all about the Stormy payout. But there's two other charges, from what I gather, two, at least two, maybe there's more, uh, um, that pertain to other hush money uh, falsifications on the tax records. And, and, and maybe one of them was to the National Enquirer. We, but we don't know because the charges haven't been actually made i mean the specific charges haven't been said to us so uh most many lawyers are saying this case will probably be dismissed due to insufficient evidence and that may be why the specific charges aren't being listed in indictment one lawyer claimed it's just a bunch of papers stapled together and would be embarrassment to any first year law student that tried to turn something like this into a professor yeah i you know a lot of upset lawyers uh you know um that are that are, are are looking at this and saying there's what is this this is this is like you know kindergarten stuff <laughs> you know and there's some in the media that are already speculating a dismissal by giving the president the nickname teflon don yeah the same moniker you know mafia crime boss john Gotti was given and a trial hasn't even started yet so that tells you what they think of the case even though they won't say it directly I'll hand it to President Trump. He sure does know how to make elections exciting. Yeah, that's for sure. With all the shots being fired at him that keep missing, I'm about to nickname the guy President John or maybe President Don Wick. <laughs> I don't know. Get out the popcorn. Enjoy the ride. Wisconsin hugs. Now, let's take a look at some of the comments here. Trump won't do time, but they opened up the path for others uh, to. You know, and, you know, and, and she has a, let's see, what, to, uh, let's see, Trump, first indicted ex-president. Um, and what does this say? First, in, we will play the game if we must. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and all the other ex-presidents. So, you know, I, I, I Jenny's a, a, a girl I went to high school with, um, Great, great friend of mine. And that is another possibility. I, I heard this opens the door for other states like Georgia to come after the president. Uh, and that is why the specific charges aren't being stated. Yeah, I, I, I heard this from a from a former judge who was talking about why the possibility of the charges not being specific. I think that is what is known as double jeopardy. You can't be tried twice for the same crime. Well, my opinion is they have been trying to nail him for something, anything. Yeah, for the last... They've been doing it forever, haven't they? And this will blow up just like all the others, and they will look stupid. Now, if, and there that's a big if, if, he is convicted in New York where they all hate him. Yeah, they they all do hate him. And, 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 and New York is corrupt as hell. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. This, too, would set another precedent um, to make sure... The above bozos go all the way to Gitmo. I like that ending. <laughs> 
You know, yeah, good in points, Jenny. Uh, if the intention for not listing specific crimes is to open the door for other states to indict in case of a dismissal, then that is just plain dirty pool, and then it's not at all about getting justice. And, uh, yeah, they just want them out of the picture and won't stop. You know, bring up Stormy again after this was put to rest with her own words. Um, and she never had an affair with Trump, and she was ordered to pay his legal fees. I don't know if... What did that really happen? I'd have to I'd have to go back and look at this. As far as I know, I always thought it was uh, this was actually true. And her amazing attorney, remember uh, Avente, who was going to run for president, but instead it up uh, ended up in a federal prison for stealing. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. This is the guy that they're talking about um, being the witness, uh, Avenente, who was going to run for president, but instead ended up in federal prison for stealing from. Clients and tax fraud. What a clown show. Oh, and again, Stormy is perfect for what's coming. Buckle up. That's just opened up the Pandora's box, and it's about to get good. So, all right, let's 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 uh, let's 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 hear what Jeff has to say, because Jeff actually has an interesting point here. All right, and I'm going to read this real quick, and then i got to take my girlfriend out hiking. So, uh, it's interesting that many lawyers are certain of pending dismissal charges before they've seen the actual charges or evidence uh, that the grand jury of 23 was found sufficient to justify indictment. Yeah, well, you know, those grand juries, that's New York for you. I mean, they'll indict on a parking ticket, I think. But here, let's see what he has to read. From what I've heard, the evidence is overwhelming and it's fully collaborated. Though that will remain to be seen. Yeah, of course. It is. It's impossible for you to imagine, he says, that this would have been brought without substantial evidence. Uh, I don't find that uh, at all impossible for me to imagine. <laughs> it's, it's all about timing. You know, it's, it's all about the timing. And a high level of certainty of conviction. They, they try. They, they don't care about convicting. It's all about throwing mud at the guy. It's it, That's what it is. They could care less about They actually don't even care about finding justice and finding the truth. It's all about, hey, we are coming after you because you're Donald Trump. And you defied us. That's what it's about. It's about punishing the guy. As for the delay, this was the direct result of a deeply corrupt attorney general ordering the... S-D-N-A-Y to stand down. Okay, of course, and there should be more than ample justification for a full investigation in that. See, I don't know anything about that. So, and it's time to drain the swap. Well, yeah, we, I agree with that, I, totally. So, you know, back to the first ever criminal indictment of a former president. Nobody that I'm aware of considers this to be the most serious case against Trump. Yeah, that that's exactly true. I agree with him on that. Uh, doesn't mean it isn't warranted. Well, we'll find out. We'll, we'll actually find out. It's highly unlikely he'll serve time. So even he agrees, even Jeff agrees, that it's highly unlikely he's going to serve time even if he's convicted on these char charges. Uh, suffice to say, though, he's clearly the most thoroughly corrupt person ever set foot in the White House, given that to uh, include the likes of Nixon, Reagan, Bush 1, and Bush 2. That's a rather impressive feat. So, yeah. So he's being punished because he's a conservative and he's being called corrupt even though no laws have ever been broken. You know, it's funny that uh, he doesn't mention Hillary being corrupt. He doesn't mention uh, Bill Clinton being corrupt. He doesn't mention at all about Biden taking money from all the, these different nations like China and Ukraine and all that stuff. The money that came his way and secret meetings set up by his kid. Doesn't mention, you know, how the heck did Biden make all his, you know, millions and millions of dollars? He did it by, you know, trading U.S. jobs overseas to other countries and, and, and giving them contracts, U.S. contracts. That's how he did it. And But nobody talks about that as being corrupt. No, 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 no. Okay. So I did, I did, I did thank, uh, I did thank him for sharing the stuff here I hadn't heard about. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. You know, but I probably not could. He probably gets all his source news from CNN, and I don't. I don't listen to CNN, and I don't listen to any of the mainstream media because I think they're uh, as as corrupt as as uh, uh, as uh, you know. They and they and they're false news. So, anyways, he does respond to my question because I said, "Why isn't there a specific charge?" And he said, "Well, we haven't seen the charges yet. They don't have to be specified until a trial." Yeah, and he's right on that. They don't have to be specified. 
regardless, and he is, he's totally right. Regardless, it's, it's, it's just not rational to think that grand jury would recommend indictment and a DA to do so without uh, being very convincing facts justified. Well, see, I don't agree with that because it's New York. <laughs> we'll soon we'll know soon enough i'm sure trump's team will do everything to delay um actually it seems like the other side's doing all the delaying but from what i heard yeah i heard that that trump did want to delay this case all the way into after the election and uh the judge pushed it to december so uh right before the primaries so um he's right on that one uh you know and then we'll see so uh Mike, what, what did Mike respond? He wrote, uh, <laughs> what does that say? I can't even read what that says. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. It just looks like, like he's, you know, stitching something across the head. I, I don't get, do you get this joke, hon? Mm -hmm. It's like Trump with a marker drawing squiggly lines all the way across. I don't, I don't know what, I don't even get that. Like graffiti? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that says. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not sure I get what Mike's trying to make there. What point he's trying to make. Uh, not my monkeys, not my circus. Yeah, Julie says that. And I said, yep, send in the clowns. That's my favorite part, you know. Uh, and she wrote, yeah, yeah. Ryan Johnson said, on another note for Wisconsin, let's see, what did he write? Wisconsin takes action, used an app to pay voters $250 to encourage friends and family to vote for Democratic Judge Janet. Flipping court from red to blue. Wow. I don't doubt that um, because that's, that's the kind of game they play here. All right. And then Brent Hatch... For the final comment, says, for a grand jury to recommend charges, the evidence is usually strong. Uh, this process has everything to do with randomly picked uh, group of people, nothing to do with the judge. I'm not sure what New York's rate of conviction is, but for most states, it's 75 to 80. Really, these charges are minimal compared to other stuff other states are looking at. Um, let's see. In New York, they have properties of his which had low ball estimates. Yeah, I, I've heard about some of his property stuff. Uh, with his name signed on a documents for the exact same property, uh, his signatures on other documents where the estimate is way higher. It seems down the road this is a slam dunk for the grand jury with the disparity. He had to be guilty of either tax evasion or loan fraud or for overstating. You know, I've heard about the loan fraud charges because I read that somewhere where, you know, Brett is totally right. Uh, he got loans uh, from people and then he never paid them back he and so uh and he never counted those loans as int as as income and so if you you know when you when you get a loan from somebody and then you never pay them back and the other guy writes it off as a as a loss um he is supposed to write that as income earned and apparently he did not do that um so yeah, he, he probably does have some tax problems going on there. Uh, I don't doubt that at all. Uh, let's see what else he says. With disparity, I'd be guilty of either tax evasion or loan fraud or overstating properties values. Okay, I could see that, yeah. Overstating value to get loans without having enough collateral is what Denny Hecker went to prison for. It isn't just him. They go after this. They, we all pay when people cheat the system. So, all right. People feel like Trump is being picked on, but he has a pile of stuff he did before he was in politics, and he was very lucky to sidestep, okay? In the late 90s, as owner of the Miss uh, Team USA contest, the Miss Teen USA contest, he allegedly went behind closed doors. I knew about that. And he, yeah, he was there when the girls were undressing. Yeah, that that's really creepy. You know, they screamed at him, told him to get out. In two cases, he, nug he hugged naked girls. I heard about that, too, as they yelled for him to leave. And uh, all of the girls said his response was to yell back, hey, I own this damn show. I do what I want. So, yeah, okay, yeah, that that's creepy. That's wrong. Uh, there were instances in the 90s where uh, girls seen uh, money and none knew each other. And it was well before he was into politics. Okay. So, 
And a lot of this stuff exceeded past the statute of limitations. Okay, yep. And then he went on to Howard Stern and explained how when you are wealthy, you can do anything you want. I, I remember he did do that on Howard Stern. Yeah, he did do that. Uh, Pat, and, and so it's pretty clear the passage of time is the only reason he, he didn't go to prison. And, and, and there's no doubt he would have been labeled sex offender. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, being around teen girls, naked teen girls, I, I would say that that's predator mentality. And, and yeah, that's sex offender stuff, no doubt. Some may think he's being singled out, but nobody as president has used behavior that allowed grand juries to charge him. So a New York judge is taking heat, but actions against him are also being done GOP-run states by GOP politicians. Well, no, this isn't a GOP state, and this isn't GOP politicians. All right? Um, so this, this, is, this is New York. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so... Okay, so he does make a great point. All right, he makes a great point. I can't, I can't. Uh, so we'll we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, uh, maybe uh, you know his past uh, has come to to finally bite him in the ass. I don't know, but uh, it just it just sounds like to me he's being picked on. But we'll see. We'll we'll, have, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay, I'm out of here. Hey everybody, have a great day, Wisconsin Hugs.